and that is for product we need products right to sell so we'll go new new table and we need product ID I'm new at this so you know people probably call this there's probably proper names for all this stuff that I won't be using uh, so that's gonna be a character I'm gonna go with my default width of 8 which might be wrong there's no decibel point and you bet I might want to uh, index it so we'll say ascending and the next thing will be invoice uh, or product ID and then product actual product that will be the description product of the product and that's a character defaults 20 and really now you understand why I do the default because I had this where this product is going to be placed on another table and if they're different widths that could be a problem I'm assuming and uh, so my default is 20 for that and so that's what I did and now we're going to come over here to uh, tab tab ascending Yep, we might want to search by product name. In fact, actually, that's what it is, product name, but I'm going product. Sorry about the squeaky chair. Uh, price and on hand. So the next thing is the price of the product. Price. Um, even though I might not be adding from this table, it is getting transferred to another table, and they won't like each other if I don't do this. So it will be numeric if you didn't understand what I just meant. Anything from this table is going to be posted to another table, and I don't think you probably can do a character to a number. So since on the other table it's going to be used to be added, it'll be numeric. And once again, I've got my default of 8 here. And of course, we have to have two decimal places, and I'm not going to want to sort by price for my purposes, but if you did want to, and also, once again, I think it'd be changed. And then uh, we call this on hand, which of course means inventory on hand. Um, that will be numeric because I might want to say, well, I have 50 of these and I know I'm going to be able to get X price for it and then that might be something I want added. So we go with the default 8. And uh, there is no decimal on this. You know, default to that. So that is 0. And we'll tab through on this. And now we will save this by clicking on the Save button. And the name of this table is product. product. I believe we now have the three basic tables, and we'll end this video right here and now. And look for me on the next one. Here's our three products. You can also change how these are viewed. That's probably my favorite right there. Ooh. Okay, so as you can see, we have uh, three tables here, and I think I'm going to make one more table, uh, and this table will be to uh, keep track of the cash drawer, so I'll call it register. Uh, so once again, we go up here to new, new table, and in this table, I'm not really sure what I want to do, whether I want to track inventory number or create a unique number for each register. I think I'm going to go with register ID, uh, which I'll call reg ID. And um, I haven't really thought this end all the way through yet. Uh, but some somehow I have to link this with invoice and all that, and I would just go with invoice, but the problem is, is that I'm going to do other things to this register, which you're about to see, because of course um, we can make deposits and do other things so I'm going to leave it with that register ID uh, for now I think we can go change it if we want so that's going to be a character it's going to be 8 wide which is my default no decimal oops uh, no decimals and would I index it yeah probably so I'll go ahead and do ascending next item is going to be reason there's several reasons uh, why I could make additions or subtractions. 
such as in posting an invoice or making a deposit to a bank or making an adjustment because uh, the cash drawer is off from the from the actual cash count. So this is going to be reason. Oops. Do that a lot. My caps lock is right next to my tab key. Uh, so caps lock off for reason. And that's going to be character. That's going to be 20. And that will be eventually be a drop down list. And no, I don't care about sorting on that. Um, Ooh, maybe I do. What if I wanted to pull up all the times that... Nah, that's right. Uh, so then we're going to go with an amount, which will be the total sale of um, the invoice or uh, the uh, deposit or things of that nature or adjustment. And that's going to be a numeric because I might add and subtract or it will be used to add and subtract and I'll go to my default and two decimals and no I'm not going to uh, do the ascending or anything like that. I'm not going to index that in other words. Okay, so there we go. Man. And finally uh, we'll go with balance and that's how much money is supposed to be in the drawer at any given time. This will be a number that I'll set up so that, again, of course, this will be numeric because it's calculated. Eight, two, don't care about ascending. And we'll go ahead and save this table. Uh, but before I do, the balance will be, you know, anytime you can pull up that number and, of course, count the cash drawer. And if it's off and you can't figure out why, uh, well, then you'd uh, adjust it either plus or minus, uh, and you would use the reason of uh, adjustment um, to clarify that. And maybe I want date in here. I think I do because I could create a date. So let me just add that one real quick. And that brings up something else uh, that took me a while to figure out. Uh, let's see here. You got a date. And that brings a bunch of defaults. And yes, I might want to index on that. So ascending. Okay. Now that brings up another point is really I want date uh, next to reg ID, um, register ID. Uh, I don't want it down here and it took me forever to figure out how to move it because your normal click and drag doesn't quite work. What you have to do is you have to highlight the track to, just as I just did like this. Okay, highlight that and then you wiggle it up here right at the very top and if you get this line there it'll move it. You see how that works? and I'll drag and drop the date. I think you can only do it one at a time, but mm, I'm too new to this program to de definitively say that one way or the other. But uh, that's how you move it, and it took me quite a while to figure out, so if nothing else, I just saved you a lot of time. Okay, um, that's going to be it on our table. I'm going to save that, and now we're going to get into field rules.